Okay, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fading out of the blue corner. He hails from Lincoln. He's 34 years old, stands 5 feet 9 inches tall and weighed in at 75 kilos. He fights out of Lincoln MMA and tonight is his debut in the cage. Let's hear it for Lee Warner. opponent fighting out of the red corner he hails from Burton he's 20 years old stands six feet one inch tall and weighed in at 75 kilos he fights out of Burton Grindhouse and has a mixed martial arts record of one contest with one loss let's hear it for Joe Tooth Fairy Davies this welterweight contest is fought over three three-minute rounds. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Fight UK Amateur Championships 2. I'm Ben Cartledge, and with me is the Maverick himself, Lloyd Clarkson. We have 20 fantastic amateur bouts, starting off with Lee Warner in the black and white venom trunks against Joe Davis in the plain black shorts. That's right, Ben. We're straight off in the action with a welterweight bout. Warner looking for the takedown there, a nice sprawl from Davis, really creating the distance and a fast and furious pace to this one. Yeah, Warner secured a top position, he's stuck in an open half guard from Davies. And a real frantic pace these two are setting, I mean often we see these on the amateur shows when we have fighters, maybe it's the debut as it is with Warner or maybe they've had one fight, the nerves playing a big part and they really want to go out there and create a really good impression off the bat. That's right, you, you, there's nothing better than a keen amateur competitor. We've also got three minute rounds as well, so it's going to help push the pace a little bit compared to the five minute pro rounds. And here we see Davies, is he going for a key lock on uh, Warner's right arm? I can't quite see from this angle, but I think he is. He was fishing for a Kimura there from the guard, but Warner very well schooled, rolled his way through it. Did exactly the right thing. And in foiling that submission attempt, he's managed to negotiate himself to the side control but the guard locked on again there by Davies yeah Davies showing his no slouch off his back working very well moving his hips sinks the guillotine in maybe looking for the arm men more of a crank from that position a very tough submission to finish but under these C-class rules it does lend itself better to fighters who are going to be busier off the back because they understand that even in the guard position there's no headshots on the floor so they can go for a lot of riskier submissions that maybe you wouldn't see certainly in the professional leagues absolutely i think that's that's key really helps develop the fighters at this level as well gives them a really strong grounding as we go back standing so this time davies taking control clinching against the cage wall some nice knees to the legs there but a beautiful takedown from warner really timed that trip well it's very rare that you see a takedown take uh, initiated from the actual wall of the cage you can tell that's something he's been working on, a really textbook trip from the outside. Leaving his man on the ground, now once again looking to work. But obviously in this situation, as we talk about under these C-class rules, there's no headshots at all in these bouts. The guard a very dangerous position. It is, yeah, and uh, it's something that the a lot of the gyms are schooling now as a, as a standard position. So everyone becoming very, very well versed in guard as Davies now pushed against the cage wall looking to take the back and working Warner's right arm that is very 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 tight that looks incredibly uncomfortable you can see him rolling through he's done the right thing there just trying to isolate it and roll through but Davies really has his man on the back foot with a submission attempt that he's got locked in you can see Davies is uh, locking down his leg so he can't roll over to finish as we go to the end of round one Oh, action first round that from bell to bell. And what we expect to see in these amateur bouts, both of these fighters really well schooled off the, off the back.
Corners out as we get ready for the second round. Lee Warner in the black and white Venom trunks against Joe Davis in the plain black trunks. A really action packed first round. Are we going to see the same pace push for the second round, Ben? What are your thoughts? Obviously, the both fighters are going to fatigue a bit, and especially for fighters making the debut of had one fight, as we see the takedown once again. The massive adrenaline dump's going to have worn off now, and now it's just going to be, they're really going to be feeling it. But Warner coming through, landing some strikes. Interestingly, ground and pounding the leg there. Something you don't see very often, but it's one of the options that you've got under this rule set. It's certainly effective because he's now past Davies' leg. He's looking to control the head. Davies looking to get that leg out. Got one butterfly hook in, one on the side of the guard at the top, and once again going to that Kimura. That seems to be his go-to move from the guard. That, that is his, uh, that's his speciality by the looks of things. And he's got it extended there. That is a tight looking Kimura as his man rolls through. Fantastic. Joe Davis has got that locked in. And a very good escape from Warner, but from Davis's position, very advantageous to try that because even if the submission didn't come off, it would afford him the opportunity to reverse, which he's done. And now we see him in side control. Absolutely. So are we going to see some other submission attempts? That was a fantastic escape there from Warner. I've got to point that out. I mean, that was very, very impressive for someone who's making his fight UK debut. I mean, it just goes to show the level of the sport that we see in this country, that amateur fighters are this well-schooled on the ground. Nice escape there from Warner. That was very, very textbook stuff as we go. Warner's very explosive. Up. Gotta be careful of giving his back there, but he's rolled through, and now we see a real battle for position here. Warner gotta be careful of giving his back. But he rolls in and gets the takedown. Warner's showing a great variety of takedowns for me. He is, he's certainly got the edge on the standing and takedown game. Now, we we'll see another reversal as Davies is going to a loose side control, knees to the body. Well, this is back and forth all the way. Very, very smooth pass into side control there from Davies. So we're certainly seeing the pace slow down, as to be expected. But well, Davies has got to realise that the longer he spends in this position, as long as he's consistently working, the more chance that he's got of scoring points in the eyes of the judges. That's right, because Warner will have been scoring for those takedowns quite uh, quite well. Good knees coming through to the body there. Now we see Warner walking up the cage wall. For those not familiar, this is totally allowable. You can't grab the cage wall, but you could use it for leverage to walk up it. He's decided not to. He's given up, and he's going to shrimp his hips in. There we see. Back to full guard. Very well done. That is a full lockdown guard, and Warner straight away working high. You see those legs coming up, looking to switch on the hips, pushing the head away. Maybe looking for an armbar if there's one there or a triangle choke. Landing some strikes from the bottom, but it's a very difficult position. You see, he's trying to take, opponent, take advantage of his opponent's base. And there we go, we're going to go to round three. Third and final round in the opening bout of the evening between Lee Warner and Joe Davis. Warner in the longer trunks, Davis playing black shorts. And I'll be honest though, a very tough bout to score, incredibly close. Uh, I often say this, but I wouldn't want to be a judge for this one, Ben. Now we see Davies really controlled. Oh, nice knee there from Warner, straight up the pipe that went. Taking advantage of the weapons that he's actually got. Obviously, no headshots under this, but he's got to be careful of giving his neck up though. As Davies negotiates it to the floor. And we'll be looking to work from this position. 
But as the rounds go on, it becomes harder and harder to finish a guillotine simply because the sheer amount of strength that's needed. It is. It looks like a simple submission, but you and I both know, Ben, it's a very difficult one to pull off if you haven't got much gas in the tank. And it's a bit of a scramble. Is Warner going to get the, uh, the upper hand on this? Davies locks down Butterfly. No, full guard now, so he's got a full lock guard position. Warner's on top. A couple of rabbit punches. They're not going to hurt him. And once again, you can see already, by the way, that Davis is flexing on his hips there. He's looking for that Kimura. Everything about his posture tells me that he's looking for that submission hold. He's had some success with it. And as a result, I think that's for me, that's the reason why Warner's punches are coming really short, because he doesn't want to give those arms off. Absolutely. Once bitten, twice shy. If you, uh, I mean, he came with that excellent escape earlier, but he's certainly not going to be in any hurry to put himself back in that position again. Warner landed a nice shot to the body there. He's got all the time to swing those body shots. Excellent decision there. So we're back standing. Very experienced referee, Mark Woodard. Refereed at the highest level for quite a long time. Oh, nice takedown from Davies. That will have earned him some fantastic points, that one. And as we see, as both fighters getting tired, the technique's starting to lapse a little bit. The mistake for me that Warner made was he threw, the, he threw the kick singularly and didn't set it up with something. Absolutely, it was it was slow and it was on its own. It wasn't as part of a combination. Gave Davies the opportunity to catch it. And we are where we are now. So Davies inside control. Warner's got Davies' head. I would love to see Davies uh, pull off a reverse choke from here. It's one we don't often see in MMA. I don't think we're going to. He's quite content to hammer home some knees from hell to Warner's ribs. These are some big knees, making advantage of every opportunity. But this is facilitated from Warner because he's, Warner was holding on to that head and basically levering his man into that position. Yeah, he, I think he's realised he's let go and he's trying to, uh, loosely trying to shrimp that left leg in to reclaim guard position on Davies. But let's be honest, I mean, this is the most definitive damage of the round and obviously the judges are going to be watching this and they're going to be scoring accordingly. This one is going to go to the wire. We've got less than 30 seconds left on the clock. I mean, Warner looking to land some shots from the bottom, but it seems like he can't really move. But as I say that, he scrambles through. Yeah, those clackers, those final second clackers were what he needed. And that's it. We're all over. We go to the judges' scorecard. And what a fantastic way to open the proceedings up here at Fight UK Amateur Championships to Lee Warner and Joe Davis go the distance it'll be down to the judges OK ladies and gentlemen after three rounds of action we go to our judges scorecards and all three judges have rendered a unanimous decision in favour of your winner from the red corner Joe Toothfairy Davis Let's hear it for a very gallant runner-up. Let's hear it for Lee Warner.